I won't to the pursuit of truth. Now, I know I've done this previously, um, but uh, I couldn't let it lie again. This was um, a slide um, that was shown on a 5 p.m. briefing with Sada Javid on, I think it was the 19th of January 2022. Uh, and the slide will come up now. It's critical care admissions and COVID-19 vaccination status in England. Percentage of admissions to critical care with confirmed COVID-19 by vaccination status. Patients submitted the 1st of May 2021 to the 15th of December 2021 compared with the general population. And this is probably where, how they how they get these figures as they were. And they've got two charts. One is percentage of critical care admission by vaccination status, and the other one is the vaccination status of general population 18 plus. Um, so I'm just going to look at the data for December. Um, they're all roughly the same. The chart, um, which we're looking at, is percentage of critical care admission by vaccination status. So all of the charts, uh, all of these bars from May to December, show unvaccinated is the highest like 70% on December, it's got 60% uh, unvaccinated people. And then they've coloured the rest out as uh, one dose, uh, two doses is big, and third dose. Actually, really looking at that, that shows, was it 60%? 60% unvaccinated, so that means 40%. In hospital, were, uh, were had been vaccinated either once, twice, or three times. So there, it's suggesting the the figure is suggesting that um, majority of people are unvaccinated. So it's got the source, the Intensive Care National Audit and Research Centre, uh, for fourteenth of January, twenty twenty two. We open that up, and you'll come to this page, uh, page forty four. This will come up now. This is how they work out the data, vaccination status. So this is the first little trick they play. To ascertain COVID-19 vaccination, ENARC data for patients admitted to critical care units in England were linked with the data from the COVID test results and the National Immunization Management System, NIMS, blah, 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 blah. So that's how they get the, the data. They're using the data for vaccinations and etc. So some people are whittled off this because it starts off with 11,431 patients. Um, oh, this is actually from May to December. Oh, okay, so I thought this was just December. This is the whole data set. So this is for that whole period. So if you look at that chart, it will come up again. It it shows like in May it was 70 plus percent, June it was 70. So it, looking at this chart, you think, well, it's the unvaccinated that are actually majority of the people in this. So, yeah, they whittled down. So some people, they couldn't find their NHS number. Uh, some people are under 18. So once they get, you know, the whistle, all those bits down that they can't be sure about and also they can't find a COVID test matching 28 days before, um, then they work out, well, who's unvaccinated? Who do they class as unvaccinated? Now, when you think of unvaccinated, you think of, well, the way they talk about it, you think of anti-vaxxers. Um, but you, you, <laughs> um, unvaccinated, according to them, is um, based on knowledge that it takes two to three weeks following each vaccination to reach maximum effectiveness Vaccination status was defined prior to analysis as unvaccinated, either no linked vaccination record, so someone who hasn't had a vaccine done, or uh, in the NIMS, or first dose of vaccine received within 14 days prior to positive COVID test. So not really unvaccinated. Yes, vaccinated, but not because um, they say that it takes 14 days before you reach some kind of immunity. But of course, most people wouldn't, see it that way um but actually though it doesn't matter too much because those people actually are only 113 uh people who had received a dose so out of the so the final number they whittled down to that once they did all this stuff was uh 10,141 people that's 91.3 percent of the people they started off with so they were successfully linked to a test so we start off with 10,000 people this is from may to december 10,000 people went into hospital um, uh, because they had a COVID uh, positive test within 28 days. 113, we already know some of those of those had received first dose, but they're going to include them as unvaccinated as well, even though they're not really unvaccinated because they did go for a vaccination. Now, you read down, so it tells you what one dose is, two doses, booster. Of 
5,955 patients classified as unvaccinated. 11 or 13 had received a first dose vaccine within 14 days prior to positive test. So that tells us that between May and December, almost 6,000 people are unvaccinated out of the 10,141. So we minus that number. 5955 minus 10141. And that tells us how many people were uh, in hospital who were vaccinated, even with one plus 14 days, two or booster. And that's 4,186 from May to December. So what that means is, from May to December, unvaccinated people was 5,955. And uh, vaccinated people was 4,186. So that's a difference. Um, what was the percentage of that? I mean, it's not much difference, is it? I mean, yeah, maybe 60-40. So maybe their chart is correct. But the problem is their chart split over months. They didn't do like, uh, that's why they didn't do the May to December as one bar. They did it, they split it up. But of course, that means that reflected in those bars, that data is because, because it carries on like how as a number of people in the population each vaccination the status difference between age and group and over time rate of emission critical care was calculated by 100,000 per week so this is how they they um, that, that it gets a little bit distorted um, but that's my problem with that because what it really means is put if you saw that graph you would think 70% you see several times um, and the, it, it looks like it's so much more unvaccinated people that are actually in the hospitals, clogging the hospitals up, so they would say, get your vaccination done. But when you actually look at this number, the, well, the difference between, was it 4186? Uh, 4186 minus, uh, was it 5955? Is 1000 and... 1,770. That's the difference between these two numbers. It's not really a great deal of difference, is it? I mean, I suppose they would argue that, you know, you need two doses or... This is where the statistics don't work, you see. Because if this was brought up to them, they would say, well, wait a minute, that's because... The, the reason why so many vaccinated people are in hospital isn't because the vaccines aren't working. Um, it's because... Uh, some of those only had one dose, and so you have to minus that number. And then the ones who had two doses, well, you say, well, they had two doses, but theirs has run out now, and that's why we've started the booster campaign. And, of course, not everyone's been boosted. But what, I mean, the thing is what it does show, though, is that the people in hospital aren't just the unvaccinated people. Um, there's nearly, it's not 50-50, it is maybe like 60-40 throughout May to December. Of course, they don't give you the data for, um, on this one it's different, it's come from a different source. It doesn't actually give you the data for each individual um, month. No, I don't see it there. But yeah, so that, that bar graph to me is a little bit misleading because looking at that, you see a lot of unvaccinated people, 70%, 70%, 70% uh, August, just under 70%. And then it dips down to maybe 60, 50, and then back up to 60. Um, and then when they show the other one next to it, it's vaccine state of general population. Um, a lot of people, one dose. But when you get to December, the unvaccinated is very, very small. But the two doses is, is, very, is much bigger. So it just seems, this one's not as bad as the last one. But the problem is, is the way they present it, makes you think that wow there's a lot of unvaccinated people because the blue and the the, the orange for two dose one dose is so you know, don't outweigh well actually in september it was almost the same the same amount of unvaccinated as two dose was the same amount of people that were uh, admitted to hospital but the way they look at that graph and the way they would talk about it afterwards is Vaccinated people, unvaccinated people are, are, are the cause of the, the, the NHS getting overloaded and you should get vaccinated. How dare you not get vaccinated? You should be treated like Novak Djokovic, you anti-vaxxer, you. <laughs> Whereas really, 
is actually showing that yes unvaccinated people are in hospital um but the actual percentage is not much difference from those who are vaccinated um and some of that maybe we also those people who are unvaccinated i'd like to know who they are what age range they are because obviously according to the other chart that it comes up i'll try and get this one as well it shows um uh, the next chart, flat figure 26, it shows that 60 to 69 year olds are the, the highest amount of people um, who are unvaccinated who are getting critical care admissions per 100,000 population per week. Yeah, obviously, because of that, it's changed the, the numbers. But that definitely shows all these anti vaxxers that you're t talking about, all these people that politicians and people are getting angry about. How dare you clog up the NHS? Why are you so stupid not getting vaccinated? All these anti vaxxers are between 60 and 69. <laughs> are they anti vaxxers? Or is it maybe they are unvaccinated because of their age or medical conditions? Because a lot of 60, 69 year olds maybe is more dangerous to them to have this vaccine um, than the disease because the chances if they're at home or in then hospital care, if they're looked after well, they may never get this disease. And therefore, is that the reason? So I'd like to know the data set of those people, you know, when they come in, are they asked maybe like, why, why didn't you get the vaccine? And they may say, well, because I have this disease and this disease and um, I've been advised not to take it. And therefore, the it isn't really about these anti-vaxxers, you know, that that's being put across or these people who are, you know, are following social media anti-vax videos like they're trying to make out now um not getting it done is because they can't get it done because it's it's more of a danger to them than 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 the disease or taking the vaccine well that's the thing they don't put all this information on there they show you the graphs they want you to show because that fits in their agenda same as like now that they're saying that this is just like flu and we just have to get on with it because they knew that they'd never be able to do this forever but it just suits them to to to, to 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 sell it like that now i'm not saying that that's not true i'm not saying that you don't get your vaccine i've been uh vaccinated i'm not saying any of that stuff what i'm saying i'm not an anti-vaxxer so you know before you start saying that the thing i don't like is where data is used and they use it conveniently even though they know it may not be telling the whole truth it may be telling a truth that they're peddling but the thing is, most people don't bother to check these things. They see a little graph. They see the color of something. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's anti-vax. So it's anti-vax people. I'm going to now go and troll them or whatever, or go and feel bad about all these people who have decided that they don't want to have this toxin put in their body, your own body. It's meant to be your own body, but of course, you signed it away with your birth certificate. Um, but yeah, this is just one of the examples of what I'm trying to show as this isn't to the same extent as, say, JFK being assassinated by government officials, allegedly, according to Oliver Stone's documentary, or alluded to that. But this is just part of the problem with the system that we live within and data and statistics, lies, damn lies and statistics, how all it's used, how you can mislead or, you know, like, say, the war in Iraq with simple things. But, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. I just wish they would be more honest rather than using these rates 100, rather than using these graphs. Just give us the data. If you told us 6,000 people are unvaccinated and 5,000 people are vac uh, 4,000 people are unvaccinated, 60, 40. Okay, we see. So it's mostly unvaccinated people that are there, but still a lot of vaccinated people are there as well. Um, of these 60% that aren't unvaccinated, what are the reasons why they're unvaccinated? Because if they have medical grounds or because of their age and they can't do it, then to 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 make out that it's because they're anti-vaxxers or that kind of sentiment is misleading and creating a, a story that's not really there that may be convenient for the government because then that gets you hating something else like the five-minute hate. Take care, take easy, good rest, and peace.